I didn't mention this, tease this at the beginning of the, of the episode. The surprise trade candidate that I didn't even think about that apparently is gaining some traction, Sterling Shepard. I know. I mean, we just gave the dude a four-year, $41 million contract. And then, uh, you know, the first year in the contract, he has a concussion, he's banged up. And the second year of contract, he gets a toe or foot injury and he's banged up. And it's like, is this kind of like what we're dealing with every freaking year? Possibly. What team would take a risk on him? I don't know. Thinking like maybe it's just, you know, new training staff, new you, that type of thing. Honestly, I don't know. I love Sterling Shepard. I love Shep. But everyone's got a price, million dollar man, quote unquote, everyone's got a price. So it's like, what would you take for him? I don't know. His contract isn't over until 2023, but we have a potential out after the 2021 season and we would incur about 4 million in dead cap if that were the case. I don't know. You're like, you're a year and a quarter, a little year and a quarter into this contract. And, you know, you're seeing a lot of what you saw in like 2017 where like he was banged up 2018. He had some injuries here and there. 2019 injuries, 2020 injuries. At one point do you say, well, this is not, he's not going to really, fo- when he's on the field and healthy, the contract makes complete sense. It's like a steal. But the fact that he's missing so many games, it's like, Godspeed. What would you take for him though? He was a, what round was he? I want to say he was a third rounder, but maybe he was a fourth rounder. Uh, number 40 overall pick. So I think he was the, was that the second round? Yeah, second round. All right, so what would you take for him? Third rounder? I don't know that you'd get a second rounder for him. Be nice, but I think you'd probably get a third year, third round for him. Someone offers a fourth, do you take it? Ugh, I don't think so, right? It's got to be a third, I would think, of a third round draft pick at least, and then try and push for a second rounder. Someone has an extra second rounder. Whatever team has that extra second rounder, take that off their hands. That'd be sweet. But I wouldn't go lower than a third, right? I don't know my, I don't have my draft chart in front of me, but something to consider. You know, I think people would love to get rid of Golden Tate. It's just like, what team is going to pick him up? What team has seen enough out of him this year to say, yeah, we need that on our team. He's the difference for us between not making the playoffs and making the playoffs or from us being taking a first round exit to potentially going deep. Golden Tate's the answer? I don't know. 